Good morning, YouTube. It's January 14th, 2012. Um, today, this video is going to be same question, same answer. And it's funny because <clears throat> Andrea, um, Lampband23, just posted a video yesterday, and I just watched it this morning, and I was just thinking to myself this whole week, you know, I want to do a video to tell that, you know, I get the same questions and it's always the same answer. And her video was pretty much exactly the same as the things that I wanted to convey to people. Um, I get the same questions, the how, the what, the why, um, and it's, I always have the same answer. You know, the how, what are you eating, how are you eating it, how much water, how much exercise, <clears throat> how do you do it, you know, it's, it's, it's how, you know, how are you doing it. And Andrea said it in hers, and I'm going to say it again. I had this surgery. They, I went to Mexico. I had a Mexico doctor cut me up. Um, at that point, I knew this was serious. This had to be life-changing. There was no do-overs. This was it. And I was mentally ready to commit everything I had to going by the rules. Yes, I've had periods in between this 10 months where I've went off the rules, but my how is the rules. The rules, the rules. You know, she made some good comments about protein shakes. And I mean, my doctor said, you know, just like everybody else's did, firm protein. Try not to live off protein shakes. I have them once in a while. I really, you know, protein bars I'll do once in a while if I can't get a meal in. Or instead of making an extremely bad choice, I will do some kind of protein liquid or protein bar. But I almost 85% of the time get it from Firm Protein. Um, I'm going to link her video down below, but she gave some great examples of breakfasts and lunches and dinners, and, you know, it's it's boring. And, and I think that it's okay for it to be boring because, you know, you have this window, I believe, of getting it done before bad habits slowly start creeping back. And I've had the same mentality. I wanted to get this done. I wanted it done. I was going to do it. And I was committed to it. And I think that's the main key. And taking it very, very, very seriously. Um, I believe she's right. I believe there's probably a lot out there right now that aren't taking it as seriously. And they're struggling very early sometimes in the journey. And at that point, man, I wish sometimes I could have that initial six-month window because, man, I was on it. And I'm on it now and whatever. You know, some mental stuff came in and I had to work through it with my unfill and stuff. And that's another thing I wanted to say. I've had questions upon questions. I am not at restriction anymore. None. Um, I have a little bit of appetite control to where... I will eat my solid protein and I will be good maybe for two to three hours, but I'm hungry. So yes, do I need another fill? Yes. Um, do I have any stuck episodes? Not a thing. Have I still been chewing like a crazy woman? Yes. Do I put my fork down between bites? Yes. Do I do a lot of snacking? No. Um, that's because the first eight or nine months, I did the rules. I trained myself with food. And I've trained it to where, even though at this point I don't have the restriction, my brain's still thinking I'm doing it. And and that's great. You know, I kind of had a little bit over, you know, Christmas holiday and stuff. But it's amazing that I know that I've trained my body and my mind to just automatically pick the healthier things. So that's kind of the how and the what. You know, the what is, you know, that's what I was eating I stuck to the rules, I stuck to my water, I stuck to my, you know, strength training exercise, um, just now started the running part, and that's okay for me. I knew mentally where I had to go and what I was chasing after. I was chasing after goal, and I was chasing as after as much ex less excess skin as possible. Those were my goals. So now I'm doing pretty good with my excess skin. There's areas, okay, that I can't probably fix, but you know what? Now I'm running, and I'm hoping maybe that'll tone up a little bit even more. So that's the what and the why. The why? Why? Because I had a doctor in Mexico cut me up and put a lap band in. Why? Because I paid $8,000 so far just last year in medical debt out of pocket for this on my own. No payment plans, eight grand, period. Um, 
do I drink pop? No. Why? Because it's a rule. Why? Because I'm afraid of my band's going to erode. Why? Because I don't want it anymore. Why? Because I'm not supposed to have it anymore. Um, do I eat chocolate? Sometimes, yeah. You know, sometimes I'll have a little bit here and there, but it's, it's, I know me. I know Jen. If I let it in, it's hard to get it out. So if I do it, it's either very, very small quantities or I just try not to do it at all. You know, I walk myself through that food choice before I put it in my mouth. Be like, do you really want to do this? you really want to set this thing off? Because once you do it, it's going to be it. So there's just, her video just ugh, made so much sense today. And it's funny because I was thinking these things this week because, you know, you post your scale pick, you post your side by side, you post these pics and you got an inbox full of how did you do it? What, you know, what are you doing? And, and that's it, you know, same question, same answer. I have followed the rules, you know, total 10 months out, maybe a total of eight or nine days that I've screwed up. And some people might say to me, well, you're going to have a hard time in maintenance because you didn't let yourself have, a, you know, things more often and you deprived yourself. I don't think so. I think because I've gotten my food so straight and on track that I'll be able to fight those things better. I, be, I was able to fight it after my New Year's thing. And it was very easy for me to get back into that lifestyle. So that's that's my take on it. But she just she she hit it hit it perfectly. Take it seriously. Keep the drive and determination going. Figure out why you had it, you know? Do some mental work on it. Um I had to do a lot of mental work at the end of last year. You know, once that six month woohoo, I had my surgery, it's fallen on off, came away. After the unfill, man, I had to go through some mental stuff and figure out, okay, what made me this way? Why did I get fat? Becca just did that video on um, the rules that made me fat. I wanted to do a response to that, and I haven't because I need to sit down and write a whole bunch of stuff. And with school, I have already 25 papers due. But, I mean, those are things you have to sit down and ask yourself. And if you're pre-op, you better make sure you're ready to fight you have to fight, and you're going to be fighting for the rest of your life. This is not going to just go away. You are going to fight. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to take what's yours? Are you ready to have this surgery that is not of, you know, a diet? It's not a, you know, something I'm going to try like Weight Watchers. It's a permanent fixture to your body. Permanent. You know, yeah, the lab band you can say is semi-permanent because they can take it back out, but it's still going to damage your stomach when they take that band out. There's still going to be remnants of this lap band in there, whether it's in there or not. It's permanent things you're doing to your body. Make sure you're ready for it. You know, and if, I, I think maybe these doctors are just throwing, you know, I had mine in Mexico, so I can't really talk too much about that because I didn't go through that whole process. Maybe they're, you know, approving too soon. Um, I, I don't know. Get your PMA right, positive mental attitude. Um, that has carried me to four pounds last week. I, I'm in it. I'm ready. Get me to goal. Get me to, you know, I want to build more muscle. I want to run. I want to do these things. So just make sure your mental stuff's ready because it's hard and it's going to be boring. It's going to be so boring. You're going to want to go crazy and that's okay because you know what? I had 33 some odd years of it not being boring. So I had time to play with food you didn't have enough time to play with food maybe you're not ready yet you know what I'm saying so it's funny because a lot of people have asked questions about well would you do it for your daughter I don't know I've thought about it and now I don't think I would because she hasn't experienced a whole bunch of dieting yet I think you have to go through many different fails and, and, and wins with this before you're ready to commit permanently to the lap band or VSG or RNY it's, it's a total change of your life. And it's not the quick fix. And I think maybe sometimes I get on, I state what I've done, and I haven't told you guys, yeah, it was hard this week. I was so bored with my food, I could have freaking lost it. But that's what it is. I'm just so used to it, maybe I need to start expressing it to everybody a little more that, you know, yeah, it's, it wasn't fun. Food is not fun anymore. F food is fuel, and that is it. I get no joy out of eating, period. It's boring. So that's my little response, I guess you could say, and then my own question, same question, same answer video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.